Oh, hey, welcome to Frame Upgrade. Today we'll be making a DIY quick release neck strap with a special guest. But first, I need to fix my hair. The reason why I was wearing a hood was that I've been brought to the secret lair of Ramin Kuntopalku. And she as well likes to shoot videos. And in video work, in most cases your camera is sitting on a tripod or a gimbal. But if you have to shoot handheld shooting, in that the neck strap is a great way to stabilize your footage. And that is why you need to have a quick release mechanism to get it on and off quickly. The reason we are here is because we both have brand new cameras and with it comes with the standard neck straps. And we're going to transform these into a DIY quick release neck straps. And the things that you will need in this are a locking piece and the quick release mechanism. You will also need some scissors or a sharp knife and a lighter. First things first, we need to strip the strap out of the camera. We're going to cut about 13 centimeters, and that's 5 in inches, away from this strap. First, let's make the piece that goes into the camera. You take the flat head and put it inside your camera's ring, that it's on top. And then you will use this locking piece. First, the end that has been cut, put it under and over. And then we'll put the flat head also under and over. I know it's going to be a bit tight when you do this, but trust me, it will fit. Now this is about one centimeter from the camera. Now we'll take the quick release mechanism and then we'll use the female end in the camera. For the flat end we'll do it under and over and again for the third time we'll go under and now it's a bit tight so you will have to use all your finger strength and then once again over for the third time. Okay, as I said earlier, it's getting a bit tighter. On the third time you go through these holes. So in order to pull the strap a bit better, you can use pliers. And this way you can get it through the holes a bit easier. And now we'll have to burn cut end with a lighter so it doesn't escape from the locking piece. Now be very careful not to burn yourself. Now the end is secured. Now we'll repeat that on the other side. Okay, let's now make the other piece that is in the neck strap. But first, since there is this cut end, so we need to burn that as well. <laughs> Try to make it as flat as possible, so it's much more easier to navigate it through these holes. So, now we'll use the male end of this locking mechanism around this piece, and we can use these locking pieces that are already in the standard neck strap and with those we are securing this new male piece into the strap. Yes, it's done. Now we'll test it. Ta-da! And now we'll repeat in the other end as well. Even though these plastic pieces appear quite small, they are surprisingly strong. 
I've been using this quick release trap for almost a decade and it has never failed me. Now you can apply this quick release mechanism to your other next traps as well and swap them fast according to your situation. But remember to use the male end of the side release buckle. Now that I've made my version of this DIY quick release next trap, it's your turn to make yours. Or I can do it as well.